Welcome to Daily 5 for Thursday, May 4th, 2023. I saw an article posted over on Wired with the headline, The New Star Wars Movies Will Change Everything. And apparently this is based on some announcements from last month, which I I probably saw but then forgot about. I don't pay attention to much Star Wars news anymore because, you know, I'm not going to relitigate this entire thing. We've talked about it on the show enough, but I just don't have any interest in, in much of it because it feels like they won't do anything new. But I saw that headline. and went, oh, okay, maybe I've missed something. It's May 4th. So today, which is the Star Wars, whatever marketing holiday. So I thought maybe there was some announcement, but apparently this is from a month ago where the headline, which says the new Star Wars movies will change. Everything is immediately dispelled within the article, not only from the article's contents itself, but then at the very bottom, but we'll get to that. But honestly, they because they, they talked about the next set of movies, which apparently there's three. One will close out the Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and Ahsoka timeline or stories or whatever. And then there's going to be a story that's set something like, I don't know, how many thousand years ago in the Star Wars universe. Kind of a Old Republic type thing, but it sounds like maybe further back. And then there's one about the new Jedi Order that is going to be founded by Rey Skywalker. Or Rey from the other movies. You know, if you don't know by now, Rey Skywalker. And so when you hear those three movies, that sounds like only one of them is potentially doing anything different. The other two are either aimed on closing out the old stuff. Well, not old stuff. It's current stuff right now, which, you know, okay, technically maybe that counts that you're going to seal that off and do something new. But then the other movie is about Ray, which is the new stuff, which is still related to Skywalker. So, and then there's a line at the very, very bottom that says something along the lines of, well, the Star Wars movies will always have to play it safe because there's too much money involved, which that to me is ultimately why I don't know how much of this I believe. But honestly, to try to be optimistic, the same way with Marvel, it's not that I don't want to see any more of this stuff. And if anything, I will take a glimmer of hope because the Star Wars Vision series, which I haven't watched the new one, it got released. I haven't watched it yet. I will likely watch it in time for next week's show, but I haven't watched it yet. That I liked so much because it was so different. It was wildly outside of what we knew from Star Wars. And there's been those little, I mean, even as Lando has said, the first season of Mandalorian felt like it was starting to stretch out and then it got pulled back in. And that's the thing. Will any of this stuff really be allowed? Even even if they do something where there's a mainline series and they have secondary movies, even that would be good. Just to have something that's outside the boundaries of what everybody knows Star Wars is now. I would watch a whole movie where there was never a lightsaber. And I know people will say, oh, you should watch the Andor series. It's not, But it's not. It's still connected to the old stuff. And I just don't care anymore. I know everything I know. I need to know about that period in whatever's going on. So even if the story itself is disconnected, even if, because then somebody had said, well, you wouldn't even know it was Star Wars if, you know, outside of one or two things. Well, that's not really what I want either. I do still want something that feels related. I would still like to see something again, Star Wars visions. That's what I want. That's what, and don't get me wrong. What I want doesn't mean anything. Disney's not making movies for me. They don't care about me. I'm never going to spend enough money compared to the people who eat this stuff up left, right, and center. So I am way down the list on the priorities for Disney. So I am not waiting on them to make anything that is interesting to me. Although they did make Star Wars Visions and Star Wars Visions 2 sounds like it's just as good. So at least there is some. And you know what? That's fine. If that's all I get out of every five to ten years is I get one good solid thing. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So I hope there is that potential and that is fine. And and it's not the worst idea. If they want to make stuff that caters to people who just want recycling of the same stuff. Fine. Go ahead. But. I do hope that the Star Wars vision, and now, like I said, the second one is also getting very good reception, and I hope that signals to whoever's actually making these decisions that there are two lanes that this stuff can occupy, and honestly, they could pass that message over to whoever's running Marvel as well, is you can do all the mainline stuff that's the same thing over and over and over and over again, that 80% of the people are going to eat up, and then you can have that small 20% segment where there's little experimentation, little interesting things, Elseworlds, to use the DC, the old DC way of doing things, that has a place too. So, I am hopeful, this, you know, I don't know how much of this I really believe, a lot of this is marketing, but But if it is something where for every three new Star Wars movies, we get a Star Wars Visions, then you know what? That's an okay trade and I will take it. So we'll see what happens, but maybe there's hope. Later.